Hey gang, we are going to be looking at manufactured boards today and their properties and uses. I'm hoping by now you've watched my video on woods, uh, hardwoods and softwoods because it will actually play into this and make a difference. Okay, let's get going. So manufactured boards, here's a little overview for us. So they are made using waste wood. The boards are produced by gluing wood chips, shavings, dust uh, together with glue. They are inexpensive uh, in comparison to hard and soft wood boards and often used instead of the solid woods. These boards come in many thicknesses. Once we have in school, we have everything from uh, three mil uh, to uh, eight mil, 12 mil, 15 mil. And by doing so, that gives us lots of different um, options for projects. Um, manufactured boards are often, but not always, covered with a veneer of real wood to improve their appearance and properties. And they are good for industrial production because they are made in large sheets and they're obviously very consistent quality. The real downside of, uh, of solid wood is that often it has knots in it. Um, the nature of the boards themselves is that they can uh, they can twist and warp um, as they shrink, and they and they often don't come in very wide boards. If you want to uh, be able to erect something for construction, perhaps, or maybe uh, for furniture, having larger panels is really very useful. Okay, so we've talked about veneers. Um, so I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page of what that really means. So a veneer is a thin surface, uh, a thin layer of finely grain wood glued to a base of inferior material. So this example in the picture here has a veneer, very thin, uh, lovely decorative uh, grained piece of wood on MDF and, that, and the veneer is on the top and the bottom side. So the purpose of it is to have a cost-effective way of making manufactured boards look nice. Um, MTF looks pretty naff on its own and you wouldn't want to make beautiful furniture out of it. No one would, would have it in their house, but as soon as you put a veneer on it, it gives that effect. So um, the other purpose of veneers is to uh, glue them together to make plywood. We're going to go through this uh, obviously just a little bit later, um, but really those are our two main reasons. So a little bit of uh, background information on making veneers. So there are two-ish main techniques. So you either slice them uh, by peeling thin strips from, from planks, like so. And the analogy I kind of give is like peeling long ribbons from a carrot. So you've got the, the long trunk and then you slice um, layers off of it. Um, the other main one, is rotary cutting. And this is really very clever. Um, it basically gets underneath each layer of the grain and what I showed in, in the last video um, on woods, um, where each of the growth rings are there. It almost unrolls it from an entire trunk. So we have a very large blade that goes up inside. And then the analogy is sort of like uh, shaving a pencil, except if it was the entire length of the pencil rather than just the end. So let's look at our first two uh, main manufactured boards that we need. So these are the ones that we tend to use mostly in school that you'll be familiar with. The first is medium density fibre board or MDF. This is uh, composed of softwood fibres held together by glue, compressed together and glued together. It doesn't have any grain, uh, but it, it can be easily veneered like we showed previously. Uses, well, it tends to be used for things like flat pack furniture, shelving, and school projects, of course. The pros are that it's cheap, it's very dense, it cuts very easily, particularly if you want to route anything using the router, and it has a lovely even surface, so it takes paint and finish very well. Uh, the downsides are that it can be damaged by moisture, and if you are cutting it, particularly if you're routing it, you must not inhale the dust because uh, often it's made, the glue uh, contains formaldehyde um, and it, you do not want to be breathing that stuff. Okay, next is plywood. Now, as you can see here, it's composed of an odd number of veneers glued together at right angles. 
So you can see here, we have the grain going in this direction, and the grain going this direction, and then this direction, and this direction. By laying them up in opposite directions, you increase the strength. Um, if you were to um, chop down into a into a sheet, it will always crack along its grain. If you alternate them at 90 degrees, then every time you do that, it increases the strength. Um, the ends can be veneered with a with a strip of veneer. It's often ironed on. So if you don't want to have those uh, those um, layered uh, effect showing, then you can veneer the end. So it's usually used for construction, for furniture, and for school projects. Positives? Well, it's very strong, as I said, very very strong. It's very um, takes impact very well. Uh, very strong for its weight and thickness, and the sides, the main sides, are very attractive. Downsides, it's more expensive, and the uh, the stripy ends. A lot of people don't really like that look. Some people do, um, and I've put moisture in brackets there because most plywoods um, don't work very well with water. But there is actually something called marine ply, which is very expensive, but it's literally designed for use uh, on ships. So um, that is designed for that purpose. So it's completely water resistant. Now, in this fantastic short video, which I would like you to watch in a quick second, it uh, not only shows you how plywood is made, but how veneer is made by the uh, rolling method. So I'd like you to pause the video and watch this, and we'll come back in a sec. Well, I thought that was fascinating, so I hope you did too. Let's move on to our next manufactured boards. These are our last three that we really need to know about. The first is chipboard, and you will be familiar with it because a lot of your furniture will be made from it. So it is made from wood chips, hence its name, as well as shavings and some dust compressed and glued. Uh, it's always veneered, pretty much. You often don't find it without a veneer on it. It's used for flat pack furniture and kitchen cabinets. Chances are that the furniture you have in your room at the moment, and downstairs in your kitchen, um, are just like this. Pros are that it's cheap, um, and that's the main reason for it. And actually, because we can veneer the top, it gives a nice effect. Uh, the downsides, it is not very strong. Um, it doesn't take impact very well, and it gets damaged by moisture. I know that my kitchen cabinet uh, door under my sink at the moment is expanding because of the small little drips of water that are getting into it uh, means that it's damaging it. So that's a problem. Next is uh, oriented strand board. That's the American term, or OSB, so strand board. It's also known as sterling board. That's the often commercial name in case you ever see that. Um, you will have seen this before. It is uh, with rough varying size chips compressed and glued together. Um, and you will have seen it because you'll see it around um, work sites, around construction sites, because um, it's put up to prevent access to sites. People often put it up if there is a window gone missing, if it's been broken into, for instance, um, but it's also used for housing. The pros is that it's very cheap. So it's the cheapest manufactured board that you can buy. But the downside is that it's the least strong. Um, and of course, it's, it's not very pretty, uh, it's quite unsightly and it is somewhat damaged by moisture. Um, less so some than some of the others, depending on what glue is used. Last is block board. Not very common, but really elegant. So this is a core of soft wood strips glued edge to edge, and often, almost always, veneered. You can see here the different orientation of the grain. So this is one piece. Here's another one, so that's one there. And here's another one. So there's three strips here and veneered on both sides. It is used for cabinetry, it's uh, for stairs, chopping boards and work surfaces, so um, better quality work surfaces usually. Uh, pros said it's strong um, because obviously it's the solid board and it's attractive. Downsides, it's more expensive because it is solid wood and it still can be damaged by moisture but, but less so, less than chipboard or MDF perhaps. Now, to prove my point, I have this fantastic video um, that I would like you to watch. This is a testing facility where they are showing how uh, in a hurricane, which they do get in America, um, how uh, when pieces of, for instance, wood are picked up by the hurricane, 
and thrown through windows uh, is the comparison between our OSB, our strand board on the right, and plywood on the left. So give that one a watch and I'll see you in a sec. That was a good one, right? That was a fantastic video. So uh, to round up, um, I would like to uh, like to give you a little test. So you're going to pause the video. I'd like to think about for each of these products, which suitable manufactured board you would use and justify your answer. So pause the video and we'll go through the answers in a sec. OK, so hope you've had a little thought. So let's go through. First one, we have the shelving over here. Now, shelves need to be uh, fairly strong, pretty sturdy, and that is quite an elegant um, piece of furniture. So you would expect it to uh, not be standard flat pack, so it's going to be a little bit more costly. So you want to have a slightly more expensive board. So I would pick plywood with a veneer uh, uh, strip along the edges to stop using that, um, uh, that laminated um, sheet. Okay, next we have our IKEA Malm cabinet. Um, these drawers, these are the ones I have at home. <laughs> I think most people do. Uh, so this needs to be cheap. Cheap and cheerful and fairly lightweight as well, because if it's flat pack, it needs to be transported. That reduces your fuel cost and reduces uh, cost overall. So what's it going to be made from? Well, it's going to be chipboard, of course, uh, with a veneer all over. Next down here, we have our housing uh, being built, our construction. So we want something which is incredibly cheap. We want something which comes in big sheets. What's it going to be? It's going to be OSB. Our strand board, of course, it is. And it looks like that. And last but not least, we have this decorative uh, sort of coving um, goes around the edges of your of your rooms, for instance, or along the uh, along the bottoms. So we want something which is going to shape really well, something that is going to get a nice finish as well. Take that paint. So what we're going to use? Well, we're going to use MDF. To finish off. Uh, I just included a few videos for extra interest. Um, so if you have liked what you've heard today and you want to take it a bit further, um, I would recommend giving the following videos a watch. I've picked one on the traditional method um, of uh, making veneers and one which is a modern method. So in this one, this Japanese gentleman, is it, this is just the most remarkable, beautiful video to watch. I can strongly recommend it. So this is the traditional method of marquetry. It's really wonderful to watch. Give it a go. And then we have the more modern methods using a bandsaw. And this is all about how to make inlay using strips of wood um, in, a, in a modern, easy, much quicker setting. Uh, so it's really interesting just to see the comparison. It's a bit longer of a video, but you can watch the beginning, watch the end, um, and that's it's a good overview. And lastly, just to show you how veneer can be beautiful and attractive just all, all on its own, um, I've linked this video from two of my favourite makers on YouTube, um, and they made this twisted veneer art panel. It's fabulous. Um, obviously a long video, but if you're interested, give it a watch. So let's recap. So manufactured boards are made from the waste of timber processing, consisting of chips, fibre, dust and glue, depending on the board. They are best for industry and furniture because they are inexpensive, they come in large sheets and they're easy to cut. Veneers are thin layers or thin strips of natural wood applied to the outside of these manufactured boards to give it a really attractive finish. And today we've learned about MDF, plywood, chipboard, OSB and blockboard. I hope that was interesting for you guys. See you next time.